What's up guys, Spin Firearms here, and most of the reviews I've done lately have been great. Not 100% sure about this one, but stay tuned and we'll get into why. But before you get started, hit the like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe. Let's talk about the Smith & Wesson Shield Plus in 30 Super Carry. Now this handgun was basically, people were begging for me to review it. They know how much I love the Shield Plus, how much I love my Shield and 40. I'm actually carrying it right now. And they know I love stuff with a little more snap or power to it, right? I have no problem with stuff like that. I enjoy shooting more powerful things because it really helps me learn recoil. So when I get to a 9 or 380, it's like shooting nothing. Smith & Wesson's been killing it, right? They released the Carry Comp Series. It's cleared, unloaded, and safety checked. Which this is the greatest handgun of 2024. This is the best release. So they've been doing an amazing job. Over the years, they've released stuff like the Smith & Wesson CSX, which I absolutely love. Some people didn't like it, but I loved it. The Shield Plus has been an absolutely, absolute hit. The best bang for your butt buck is the Shield Plus at 9mm. On top of that, they have the Performance Center version. They have the new Metal Carry Comp. The Compact Carry Comp. They have the new Bodyguard 2.0, which is the best pocket pistol on the market. Like, I literally get so excited about these releases because they've all been so great. They have the Metal Series. They have all their revolvers still. They have something for everybody. They have the 380 easy, the 9 easy, the 30 super carry easy for people who have, you know, bad hands like I do. You see, I work with my hands for a living, and yes, I wash my hands. That's just what it looks like when you work hard. You get disgusting nails, and it is what it is, right? But they release something for everybody, and I've just found myself going to Smith & Wesson more and more. Now, I'm a Glock fanboy, a Springfield fanboy, but Glock is not keeping up with Smith & Wesson. Imagine if they did something so simple like porting a Glock 48 from the factory, giving you night sights that aren't the OEM night sights, changing up simple serrations. It's so easy. A little bit better trigger. They could do so much that they don't. The texturing, there's so much Glock could do that they don't. So even though in my opinion, I'm going to say it now, this isn't a failure because I don't look at stuff as failures. I look at them as stepping stones. Like you make a mistake, but you tried. I don't look at it as a failure, but for me, this is just not it. And I love Smith & Wesson. Trust me. I, like I said, I'm carrying a 7 plus 1 40 performance center. This is a 1.0. This is a you know an ancient handgun, but I love Smith & Wesson, and I love the Shield series. This is just not my shield. This is just not for me. But what's crazy is they're going for $299 right now or $250 with rebate. So for $250, I'm not calling this a complete loss. I'm going to continue to test it, continue to get better with it, and we are going to see. Because you do get a heck of a package. It just didn't shoot the way I wanted to. Let's get into it. So 30 Super Carry, what is it? It's basically a thin, a thinner round that has 9mm ballistics, but at the same time, you get more capacity. So with this flush mag, you're looking at 13 plus 1. With this flush mag of 40, you're looking at 7 plus 1 with mag guns. So 13 plus 1 in this little tiny package. It's ridiculous. So once again, applaud Smith & Wesson for what they did. Applaud them for attempting. I have nothing. I'm going to keep this handgun. I'm going to keep testing it. This right here is 10 plus 1 of 9mm, right? Versus 13 plus 1 on the left. Absolutely amazing. With very similar, if not the exact same ballistics, right? So you got to respect it. And I do. What's crazier is... 16 plus 1, 17 round capacity in such a thin handgun. You can't beat that capacity-wise, right? There's not a handgun that is smaller with similar ballistics to this with that capacity. It's crazy. There just isn't. And on top of that, they give you night sights right out of the box. Now, they are not they are not the night sights on the new uh, carry comps. Those are night vision sights, and these are just 10 times better. But... They are good sights. Now, I think they might be True Glows or... I'm not even sh Yeah, they're True Glows. The H3s. They're good sights. They're not the best. But the fact is, unlike Glock, they give you three dot night sights right out of the box. Orange outline. It is still a little light in here, so those are actually really bright sights. I really like them. Also, I do like that they wrote Shield a little different. And, you know, it, it's a nice over overall handgun. Now, one thing that's interesting is the texturing. When I feel my 1.0, there's no texturing on the whole entire handgun, right? Only where the grip is. On these, there's literally micro-texturing on the whole handgun. Here it's aggressive, you know, where it should be. But also, every other place where your hand touches, every other place, 
you know, your thumb here, your finger underneath the trigger guard, everything is micro textured. There's a little bit of texture, which each one of those points of contact are going to help with minimal recoil. Now, I will say this handgun's a little bit snappier than a 9mm. Not by much. It's not like it's a 357 SIG. It's not like shooting a 40 out of a small handgun. Um, even though this is the flattest shooting 40 I've ever shot, this is like shooting a 380 because of those ports. It really is a beast of a handgun, and Smith & Wesson does a great job with it. This, though, like I said, it's just a just one little step above 9mm. It's not anywhere near 40 or 357 SIG, so it's very, very controllable. I think because it was... The reason why it's 299 is that thumb safety. You can often get deals because no one buys the handguns with thumb safeties. But what's nice is Smith & Wesson has such a stiff safety. I mean, you really have to put a lot of effort into it. When you're shooting, it'll never accidentally go up. Because even when you do this, you can't even touch it or reach it. So it's in a perfect spot and it doesn't bother me at all. So that's, I think, why it was 299 with rebate 250. And you really can't beat that. It's reliable. Um, we put 50 rounds through it so far. 100% reliable. But what was weird though is I shot, you know, my first five shots, I shot really fast with it and I had a grouping like this. The rest of the time we were at the range, I mean, I'm talking like this. My first, you know, grouping was something like that, a little bigger than a quarter. After that, it was like this. And sometimes like, it was weird. It's like the round sort of did what they wanted to do, if that makes sense. You know, everything would have worked for self-defense. I mean, if you consider under stress, which typically they say three times your grouping would be under stress. So, you know, if it's like that, you're looking at it like this. That would work, center mass and stuff like that. But still, with the shield plus and that four inch, I'm shooting quarters all day. So that is one thing that sort of bothered me. I just couldn't get it to go where I wanted, um, but maybe I just need more time with it. And that's typically the answer to every handgun. You can get good with a small 380. You can get good with a small 357 SIG, small 40. You can get good with anything. You just have to put the time and effort into it. And like I said, I've only put one box through it. But no matter how much I took my time and stuff, you know, like I said, groupings like that, which I wasn't too happy with. But it's fast. It's controllable. And I'm just hoping that other companies will produce something like this. Now, I get it's their first run, but it's a great round in my opinion. The capacity, 16 plus 1, 17 rounds. I get two and a half fingers on the handgun. 17 rounds of 9mm, basically. It's unbelievable. Just a little bit snappier, a little bit more spicy, right? It is what it is. But overall, I'm impressed. But at the same time, the accuracy was the only thing. So I'm wondering if it's a issue with the round, if it's an issue with my particular uh, Shield Plus and 30 Super Carry, or what exactly it is. I actually had the range safety officer shoot it and he even said the same thing he i think he only shot once but he's like i didn't i didn't like where it went <laughs> and i agree it's not like his shot was completely off but once again you know with that with the other shields i'm shooting like this and this was just a little bit bigger so it is what it is and i'll admit it, you know it could have been me it might not be the handgun but personally from my experience i can get a handgun dialed in within the first two mags you know today i shot that um this right here and in my first mag, you know, grouping like this, first mag, never shooting it before, not used to that four inch barrel, stuff like that. This, I just couldn't get dialed in. Same with my buddy. He could just not get it dialed in. So I'm not sure why that is. I might reach out to Smith & Wesson and just say, hey, mine doesn't seem to be accurate. But before I do that, I'm going to put another hundred through it this weekend. I want to make sure that it's not me because I'd feel pretty dumb if I was the reason why, right? Now, what's interesting is... No orange followers, which it is what it is, but I know in a lot of the new shields and uh, carry comps and stuff like that, they had the orange follower. Not a big deal. Trigger is great. It's a great trigger. Just a little bit heavier than the 4-inch um, carry comp you just saw, but still a shield plus trigger. I like what they're doing. 13 plus 1, 14 rounds in a package this small is crazy. And this thin. The shields are thinner than the other Micro 9s. So getting that capacity is just wild. I love it. So Smith & Wesson, even though I'm not the biggest fan of this one, keep it up. You are giving options for everyone out there that are affordable. 250 out the door is crazy for this. You're getting shield plus reliability. Like I said, though, I just got to get dialed in with it. It might take another 100 rounds or it could potentially um, just be the handgun. I am not 100% sure yet. 
Would I tell you to buy it? Honestly, yes. I'm not the biggest fan right now, but that can change. I was at a you know ring session. We were, we shot about 12 to 15 different handguns, so it was all over the place. Plus, this being a 30 super carry, a round I never shot before. Like I said, every shot would have worked for self defense. It would have been fine, but it just something you know, you know what I'm talking about. Just a little off. It just didn't seem right. It could be this. It could be me. I'm not 100 percent sure. So yes, for 250 dollars with the rebate, get it. You know, even though it, it you know, might never be able to. Uh, find the ammo again after a couple of years you know just one manufacturer makes it or two you'll still be able to find it online you'll still be able to get hollow points and the more people that buy these the more companies that'll release it. imagine a glock 43x and you know 30 super carry they'd probably get 14 15 plus one in there that would be awesome so i like what they're doing i'm happy with it um i just need to get better with it i hope it's not the handgun i hope it's me in this case hope you guys enjoyed the video that is the Shield Plus 30 Super Carry, and I'll go slow like I'm starting to do at the end of all the videos because people get on me for having ADD and constantly moving. Another part of it, though, is I get so excited about certain handguns, certain releases that I just get jittery. I don't know what it is. Firearms, just that's who I am. I love firearms. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.